Well, hello, Shark Bites here with another video. Um, I'm gonna show you how to build Bomberman. Yes, indeed. God damn. <laughs> Bomberman. I'm here with company wide Gubernator. Gubernator? Gubernator. Gubernator. Fuck you, I'll call you Bob. <laughs> so, Bomberman. Okay, we will first do a practice match on, you know, on Bomberman and show you how it works. Then I'll show you how to build it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Um, did you already grab your items, Goober? Oh, you get, oh, okay, stay stay in the, on top of the torch, okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so you ready? Did you drop? Yeah, he dropped. Alright, now... <laughs> Now there's redstone torches under each of these floorings. So when you drop a torch, no, when you drop a TNT, it activates. Magically. And excuse me, I'm gonna get raped by Goober, because he just plays- Wow! Wow! Are you serious? <laughs> okay, um... That's been the practice match. Okay, I'll show you how to build it now. Well. See ya! Time for the building part, guys. Okay. Well, what you want to do is... First, you grab the obsidian. The redstone torch. Yeah, okay. So, this is going to be the flooring. Okay, imagine this. Okay, for the flooring, um, I'm going to use the grass. You can use any type of block for grass, you know. um, Not grass. You know, for the flooring. You know, the thing below the redstone torches. Where you're going to put them. Let's make this hole a little bit wide doesn't matter if there's holes under the under this floor it doesn't matter just do this by the way um actually the floor NRC is doing obsidian you know because the TNT above the other obsidian the, um, the TNT won't get through but, you know, the explosion might do recoil against the floor, and it might get to the iron blocks and destroy a redstone torch. You don't want that. So, obsidian, on top of obsidian, two redstone torches. Okay. Do this. Remember, you can do this really giant over there, like I did, you know, for flooring. But I'm just showing you the base as a prototype, as you may say. Then you put the redstone torches over it. Yeah, you, you don't have to do this throughout the whole thing. You'll have to do this through the through the paths. You know, but we'll get to that later. I just do it over the whole thing, so you know. I don't have to oh like uh no I did it wrong here. Yeah. Oh. Then you just do this. Cover it up. This is gonna be where the players play, you know. Down there will be the redstone and I can place TNT and just blow up. No? Yeah, just cover it like that. Remember, you can make the square as long as you can, big and tall, I don't care. But as long as you have the redstone torches down there, it'll activate. I see it's also put in the walls like this from Obsidian too, so they won't break. And iron blocks are suggested for the walls that are normally in Bomberman, but if you don't want them, you can just change them if you want. Uh, we'll get to, let's get some bedrock. Um, you can also switch places, you know, bedrock, and just put the obsidian on top, or put the obsidian bottom, bedrock as a decoration. Uh, okay, give me a second. Um, while I find this. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh. Boom, 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 and boom, 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 and boom, 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 boom. Now we have that block, and you're like, okay, we grab some TNT so I can show you. It works perfectly. Yeah. So as you can see, it just activates. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, apparently a glitch is happening where 
I put the TNT and it disappears but it still activates. Does it, does it also happen over there? Let me check. Give me a second here. That's pretty interesting. Ah, it's happening. Uh, I think it's a one time glitch though. Well, don't pay attention to that. As you can see in the practice match, it worked perfectly. So don't worry, maybe it's something about creative creative glitch. Well, all you have to do is land, multiply these blocks, you know, put the spawns. Remember, you can put iron blocks, you know, to like make the people break some blocks before they get to actual conflict. That makes it a little bit more passive and a little bit more longer the game, you know. You can't just run to your opponent and just throw TNT wildly. You actually have walls to worry about and backing into them while the TNT is surrounding you. And you know, four spawn areas are suggested, but we just want to make it two, or do you want to make it eight? As many spawn areas as you can, only if you have the space, because you don't have the space, it won't do the great job. Well, that's pretty much how you make Bomberman, you know, it doesn't really take that much, only work and dedication. You know, you just make this, expand this idea more grand into this, you know, and add decorations and glass you want. I put glass in case, you know. A person dies, you can just come up here and watch the battle. You know, the long battle. And beware of lag. This is the, this is a laggy mini game sometimes because of Bomberman. So get friends that you only have good connection with. And that is all, guys. That is how you build Bomberman. Uh, not really much to it. Um, if you want to put torches on top of the bedrock to you know light things up and no mob spawning because mobs are really annoying during Bomberman. You really don't want to get shot by a skeleton and drop it to your own TNT. And remember, um, take take the measurements well. So, you know, it's it's like mine. You know, like two two space paths. I should I wouldn't suggest one space path, cause that's too short and it's it keeps the spirit of Bomberman, but it just seems not appropriate. You know. So, um, thank you for watching. I hope this has helped you build your own Bomberman map. Um, remember, we're stone torches down and hard block down down it so it doesn't explode or anything and that has been all thank you guys for watching and leave a like uh, maybe I'll make more you know on my other mini games and I'll show you how to do them uh, well that, that is all so see you guys